All right, let's take a look at these uh, example questions for congruent triangles. Example A asks us, are the two triangles below congruent? And recall that congruent means that they are exactly the same uh, in size and in shape. So to identify that, what we need to do is figure out whether all the co corresponding sides and angles of these two triangles are actually exactly the same. And by corresponding, we mean that the individual angles or sides are in the same relative location on each triangle. Um, might be easiest to do if we actually number the sides so we can refer to them. So I'm going to number the shortest side of each triangle 1 and then the medium side of each triangle 2 and then the longest side of each triangle 3 and I may have gotten those backwards but we're going to stick with those hash marks too just because it's easier to look at those that way. Now if we see that the two shortest sides are, if we were to put both of them on the right and then we were to put this uh, double arch angle right here, angle B from this triangle and angle M from down here. If we were to line those up, then this triangle here, the one on the right, would need to be flipped vertically. We'd have to sort of invert it vertically, flip it over on itself, and then slide over on top of the other one. If we did that, we could see that then the top side of each triangle right here would be side 2. And we know that side 2 is the same that those two sides are congruent because they're both marked with these double hash marks. Then again, if this one were flipped over, side 3 with the triple hash marks would be on the bottom. That's this side right here. And it's also the bottom on this triangle over here. And since those both have triple hash marks, we know that those two sides are congruent. And then finally, again, if this were flipped over, the right-hand side were flipped over a little bit uh, vertically, then the right-hand side of the triangle would be the shortest side right here, side 1, and that side 1 is congruent with the other triangles side 1, which again would still be on its right hand side, and since those each have one hash mark, they're congruent. So we know that all three sides are congruent. Then the only thing left to see is are all three angles congruent. Now if this triangle, the one on the right, were flipped vertically, then again this angle down here would be on top, and it's congruent with this corresponding top angle over here because they both have two hash marks. Then the lower left hand angle would be this angle A down here which has a single hash mark and it would also be the lower left hand angle on this one if it were flipped up vertically. So those two are corresponding and they are congruent because they each have one hash mark. And finally our third angle which is also marked angle C on our left hand triangle and N on our right hand triangle has to be in a corresponding position. It's the only one left and those are both marked with a single hash mark, so they're also congruent. So all sides are congruent. So the triangles are exactly the same shape, and all, I'm, uh, so are the triangles are exactly the same size, I'm sorry, and all angles are congruent, are congruent, which means that the triangles are also exactly the same shape. So yes, these two angles, these two triangles are congruent. All right, let's take a look at example B. Example B says, if all three pairs of angles for two given triangles are congruent, does that mean that the triangles are congruent? Well, we might think, okay, if we had another triangle that was also 45 degrees on the lower left and 45 degrees on the top right and 90 degrees on the lower right, then yes, of course they'd be congruent. But that's not necessarily true. If we take a look, we see this new triangle over here has exactly the same angles as the original triangle, but the left-hand triangle is obviously much smaller. So if all three pairs of angles for two given triangles are, this, are congruent, then we know that the triangles are similar, similar, which means that they have the same size or same shape, but we do not know that they are congruent because we don't know whether or not they're the same size. And finally, let's take a look at example C. Example C says, Determine if the three triangles are congruent, or the two triangles are congruent using the de definition of congruent triangles. Well, we need to show that all three sides and all three angles are congruent to prove that they are congruent triangles. We can show that one side is congruent because this side is marked with a hash mark, and we could show that the two inner angles are congruent because they're vertical angles, and vertical angles are equal. But we don't know anything about side CD as it compares to side BC, or side AC as it compares to side CE. So we just don't know. 
They might be congruent, they might not. We have no way to prove whether or not they are. And that's it.